Hi friends, here is another problem in coordinate geometry. It's related to distance formula. Question is saying, do the points A32, B-2, minus 3 minus and C23 form a triangle? If so, name the type of the triangle formed. Right? First we have to show whether the, these points A, B and C are forming a triangle or not. If they are forming a triangle, then we have to show that which triangle exactly they are forming. Means they may be right angle triangle, maybe uh, equilateral triangle or maybe anything. Right? So that we have to find out first. <coughs> so uh, these are the points here given right uh, let me write first here uh, let me make a rough diagram over here see when the points become triangle right suppose this is a 3 2 and uh, B minus 2 minus 3 and C 2 3 right suppose they are forming a triangle then what happens uh, a B plus B C must be greater than A C right this is our first condition or it may be like this A B plus A C must be greater than B C right or it may be like this A B plus uh, sorry mm, third one is B C plus A C must be greater than A B right because uh, we have already learned in uh, small classes I think in si sixth or seventh grade that the sum of the two sides of a triangle is always and always greater than the third side means if a B and C means forming a triangle if they are forming a triangle then the sum of the two sides must be greater than the third side right any side sum of any side maybe a B or maybe a C right if you add a B and a C it must be greater than the side B C okay or it may be like this uh, that sum of BC and AC must be greater than AB right or it may be like this that sum of AC and uh, sum of a AC and the AB must be greater than BC you're getting me now so sum of any two sides must be greater than the third side so that we have to prove now so let me first find out the value of AB how lengthy it is AB and we know the formula that is x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square right so now I'm finding the distance of AB so difference of x coordinate and difference of y coordinate so difference of x coordinate that is 3 minus 2 right so 3 plus 2 whole square plus again 2 minus 3 that will be again 2 plus 3 whole square how this plus came yeah like this see when 3 minus minus 2 was there so minus minus plus therefore th th this is 3 plus 2 and here also 2 plus 3 exactly in the same way now it is 5 square plus 5 square it is 5 square plus 5 square is 25 plus 25 and it is 50 right under root 50 unit right let me find out another distance that is a b now a c okay a b and a c now a s a and this c so difference of x coordinate that is 3 minus 2 all square and difference of y coordinate that is 2 minus 3 all square 2 minus 3 all square so it will be 1 square plus minus 1 square it means 1 plus 1 that is root 2 unit fine now another we have to find out distance of BC okay so let me find out the distance of BC BC again the distance of uh, sorry square of the x coordinate right that is uh, difference of x coordinate means 2 minus 2 that will be 4 right S 2 minus minus 2 it will be 2 whole square plus again uh, difference of y coordinate is square right difference of y coordinate that is 3 minus 3 so it will be 3 plus 3 3 plus 3 whole square right how it become plus in the same way right uh, because we subtracted 2 minus uh, this minus 2 so minus minus it will be plus and here also 3 minus minus 3 so minus minus again plus right so so it is 4 square and 3 plus 3 it is 6 square 4 square that is 16 6 square that is 36 
right so 16 plus 36 it is uh, 16 12 52 so 52 unit right so now see what we have seen here that when we add a b I said a b and a c we are getting uh, more than b c right uh, now see here now whenever we are adding two it is greater than third side see here when you add this a b and a c what we are getting it's greater than b c that is road 50 plus road 2 is greater than road 52 right and again another one road 50 plus road 52 is always and always greater than root 2 and another one root 52 plus root 50 sorry uh, root 2 right root 52 plus root 2 is greater than root 50 right so what I mean to say that here the sum of the two side is always and always greater than the third side that is why this a point b point and c points are forming a triangle right and which triangle it is forming now uh, let, let's see here it is 52 it is 2 and it is 50 right so what we can do here let, let let me square this BC right here BC square equals to here AC square AC square plus AB square that is AB square right so BC is here 52 road 52 road 52 whole square and AC is here AC is here AC is road 2 right so road 2 square and AB is here 50 road 50 and it's a square right it's root 50 square so root 50 square 52 square that is 52 and it's root 2 square that is 2 and root 50 square that is 50 it means 52 is equals to 52 so what we got that h square is equals to p square plus b square since the uh, h square is being uh, since the Pythagoras theorem is holding over here right so it must be a right angle triangle right because in right angle triangle h square is always equals to the sum of the perpendicular square and the base square right so we can say these points are the this uh, these these points a b and c are points of a right angle triangle right I like this we have to show this okay uh, we'll be meeting in the next video with another problem uh, related to a rectangle I think okay bye bye